Hey everyone, good morning. I was hoping to have a better spread in front of me here today, but those Japanese beetles, ah, they were like wreaking havoc in our yards and uh, they really did a number on what I was harvesting to work with here today. So my material was a little uh, more limited than what I thought it was gonna be. And I'm talking about grapevines. It's normally the grape that gets all the glory, but today we wanna celebrate the leaves from the grapevine because you can pickle these and they are really quite nice to work with here in the kitchen. You can stuff them, you can use them as wraps, you can chop them up and add them to salads, you can layer them up and create some really nice casserole uh, and bakes. Uh, so lots of different ways to use them. Uh, it's a readily available material and it's easy easy to process them. So first thing you want to do is go out and harvest some grape leaves that you have access to. Hopefully you have a better selection than I do that haven't been all chewed up by the Japanese beetles. But you can work with the Concord grapevines if you happen to have some of those growing, uh, any of those varieties. You can also select from the wild grapevines uh, that grow quite readily uh, in a great abundance here in our area. You don't have to go too far to stumble across a grapevine. And you want to, when you're foraging for the wild version of things, always be very clear on your plant identification. The grapevines are easy to recognize, so you shouldn't have any problem with that. And then you want to focus on harvesting the healthiest leaves from the vine, the ones that are the, the younger, more tender ones. Uh, if you start getting into those mature, uh, tougher, uh, more battered up leaves, they're going to be chewier and just tougher in general uh, to eat and to work with. So get the healthier, younger, more vibrant leaves uh, and get a nice uh, batch of them to work with. You can work through them pretty quickly uh, and then bring them back. Give them a good wash. Uh, give them a double rinsing. Get all the dirt and debris uh, off of them and then you're going to clip the stems off of them as well. So you're going to just take a sharp blade. You're going to notch out that stem at the base of the leaf and then what you're going to do is get a batch of uh, this really intense, this is some serious salt water. This is going to be your brine that you're going to blanch the leaves in and that you're going to use as your pickling uh, brine that you're going to pour over the top of them. So the ratio to mix up, depending on how many you're working with, what kind of a container you're working, what size, it's a quarter of a cup of kosher salt to one quart of water. So that's your ratio. Mix up however much you're um, needing and then get that to a good boil and then you're going to start adding your washed and destemmed leaves. Uh, I put just a few in at a time and you're going to blanch them for about uh, anywhere from 30 seconds up to two minutes. The larger, uh, if you do have some leaves that are a little more dense, you may need to keep them in there um, for a couple of minutes. But your younger ones uh, that are more tender, usually just 30 seconds is all you need and when they come out, they're going to be this lovely olive green color uh, and you can tell they're just kind of paper thin. Uh, they have a really nice texture to them. Once you start playing with them, you'll get a feel of which ones are going to give you the best end result. And then once you take them out of the boiling water, you're going to put them into um, an ice water bath, some really nice ice cold water to stop that cooking process. And then what you're going to do is just start layering them up, roll them, and you're going to put them in your jar to cover with more of that brine. So take out your leaves and then stack them. And some people do just smaller bundles that they'll stuff in there. You can do one larger one um, and, and put it in your jar, you know, whatever kind of way works for you. And then we're going to stack them up. You can see I've got them uh, with the back side of the leaf facing up. And then you're going to roll them starting at the base. You're going to roll them up just gently. You don't want to get them to tore up so that if you're stuffing them you want everything to uh, stay in there nicely. And then you're going to put them in your jar. You may need to fold them over or maybe use a bigger jar depending on what size leaves you're working with. Then you're going to sprinkle over some either some citric acid if you have it, about half a teaspoon, or you can also use some lemon juice. And then we're going to come back with this brine, the same brine that we uh, blanched them in, and we're going to cover up all of those rolls so they're completely submerged. You're going to cap them off, put them in the fridge, let them marinate uh, for a, a while until they get that nice pickled tangy flavor to them. You could also do a proper canning uh, where you um, give them a hot water bath. That gives them a longer shelf life. Um, I think they'll last up to a year. But when you're first experimenting, I recommend just throwing them in the refrigerator, letting them marinate, uh, and then you can just play around with uh, your first batch in different ways that you can use them, different recipes 
recipes. They go really nicely with all kinds of rice uh, mixtures, uh, different grains, vegetables, some of the cheeses like a feta or a goat cheese are really nice. Uh, wrapped up in them, but I think that you will enjoy the flavor of them, different ways that you can use, and it's just, it's a readily available material here in our area. It's fun to go out and forage and harvest and work with something unique, so uh, something new for you to try in the kitchen before the season runs out. Uh, pickled grape leaves. I think there's something that uh, you too will be pleasantly surprised with.